A saddle sore can shut down a ride as fast as getting a flat tire. It's not an easy subject to talk about, but the more you know, the faster you will get through them. For me, riding 42 miles to work and back numerous days in a row, your saddle could be the wrong width, the fore and aft positioning of the saddle. It could even be the bike fit and how you're positioned on the bike. Most bike shops have a sit bone pad measurement device so you can truly define your measurement and find the perfect saddle for you. Think of yourself as Cinderella. There is a saddle out there that fits you perfectly. Having a bike fit done at a bike shop. A good pair of cycling shorts. I personally use chamois cream, especially on long rides. Higher level of cycling shorts have chamois that have thicker padding in areas that have more contact. They may be more expensive, but they're so worth it. Applying chamois cream to the chamois, just a little bit on your finger and rub it into the area, high contact areas. I also apply a little bit on the skin also. Have you ever ridden behind someone that has put on way too much chamois cream? And as they're riding, it's oozing out their shorts. Not a good look. I normally take the shorts or bibs right out of the dryer and apply it before I put the shorts on. I wash my cycling shorts after every ride. If you do end up with saddle sores oh. or a sore bum, Keep the area clean. Skip the next step if you have an open saddle sore. Personally, I would make an appointment with my doctor. For the saddle sores I've had, keeping it clean and dry and applying bag bomb always works for me. I also just take a couple days off from riding. With this combo, it should keep you on the trail. If you keep your bottom happy, you'll enjoy every pedal stroke. Whee!